everyone. Hello. Good afternoon. How's everyone? How you doing? Dana looks like a jelly bean today. She's wearing jelly My bean jelly green. Jelly bean green. <laughs> <laughs> My Montpellier top. Mm hmm It was fun to put this on today. How I is everyone thinking? doing? Oh, I'm sorry. I interrupted no, no. You. It's it was fun to put it on today. You were thinking what? It might be hot, but it really isn't that hot outside. I think yeah, the heat warm. is supposed to come. You're indoors. Go stand outside. Really? Two buses. <laughs> and then, no, it's not hot. It was, it was, no. There was a nice breeze around lunchtime when I came home, but then when I got home from school, I said, you know, I could feel it getting hotter. It was really, it was getting hotter. Um, it's supposed to be Thursday and Friday, the really hot days. I was going to say, gonna temperatures start, are... The humidity is going to be higher at the end of the temperatures week. Temperatures are rising this week, and so is the humidity. Yes. Well, knock wood, you know, we can't complain. We've had a couple We've of nice weeks. We've had beautiful weather. Beautiful weather. I ran Thank into God. someone from years ago. When you meet and run into someone, someone comes up to me. I'm in the supermarket looking for looking for my, my, my um, biscuits for my monkey bread. And someone says, oh, hi, how are you? It's Karen. And I, I knew I knew I knew her from the kids and from school, but it was so long ago. But I can't remember know. how I knew and you know. But and she said she was Karen. very good. She did it the perfect way. She said, hi, it's you. She said, it's Karen. You know, you probably <laughs> like, don't re remember me. I, I did remember her. I, I do like when people say their name. Yeah, they like I never would have known her name. Never. Usually in the shop, I'm pretty good about, like, when people haven't come in, and you know who came in? Who? Rosita. Oh, Rosita. Oh, my God. What is she, she doing? She hasn't changed. She looks the a, same, right? Exact And beautiful really? as ever. She's, so, she's, a, she's a great knitter. But, you know, she's got a unique name. So, of course, I remembered her right, name. But there's some Rosita, people who yeah. come in. Yeah. If your name I, is Diane, forget about it. <laughs> no, <laughs> Marilyn. <laughs> Some of the common names. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's uh, go ahead. I'm, it's no. just remind me some. But anyway, um, yeah. So I mean, well, I don't know why I was even saying that, but I had no idea what her name was. If she hadn't said that, I would never have remembered. I like it when people like say, "Oh, by the way, you know." Right. Not by the way. They say their name, and it breaks the ice. But then, of course, I get online, and she's in front of me. <laughs> so now you have to go down memory lane. Said, how are the kids? Oh, no, forget that. That's like a nightmare because then you don't know how you know them, you know? I thought she told you. It's through school. the. I, I'm, I knew it was from school oh. and I knew it was from a long That's time a, ago, but I you no couldn't idea. put your finger on There's it. There's another woman somehow, too, that comes into the equation that they were friends with, and I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> I'm like up front. As soon as I don't remember someone's name, I'll just say. As, yeah, well, you have to, yeah. I'm sorry, I don't remember your name. Yeah. Well, the funny part was... I mean, it's awkward, but what are you going to do? I, I specifically went to get the biscuits and watermelon because I needed that for church. I go outside. Wait, you served watermelon at church? We served, well, we served some fruit, like a, oh, on a Sunday, some that's fruit. That's cute. And I thought that was for Father's Day when you said watermelon. No, that would, no, this was for church. Well, okay. Father's Day in church, but just coffee hour, and, yeah. Coffee been, hour any in coffee church, hour but not been, Father's right, Day right, at, at your home, house correct. with watermelon. Correct. Gotcha. So I get online, I leave the store, and then I realize. You didn't get the crescent, the rolls. I pull on crescent rolls, the biscuits. I go back in. I get the biscuits. I get online. I pay for the biscuits. And then I see a flyer that has a wedge of watermelon on it. And I said, oh, I'm supposed to get watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot everything. <laughs> Go back for a third time to get See the what watermelon. happens when you don't knit for a week? <laughs> then you ask why I get no knitting done. I'm too busy going back and forth getting what I forgot. Isn't that crazy? I started making lists. <laughs> yeah, I'm but then I leave that. the list at home. I know I'm they done. say put it on your phone. I you did. That. That's exactly what I did. Yeah. I left here Friday yeah. without the laptop. Oh. I left here Friday without my yarn. I left here Friday. I wanted to switch out my color on the mohair because I didn't like it. It was too light. Right. And I was meeting Marianne. So I made a list of all the things I needed to pick up. And you forgot them? No. Saturday I came in and I did. A list. Yeah. So make a list. That's make the, a list. That's the thing. I didn't have a list. And clearly I needed one. But um, anyway, I don't know how we got on that tangent, but. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> Happy was... Monday. We love our chitter chatter. Yeah, there you go. Reconnecting. Anyway. How's your weekend? Good. But very busy. A very busy weekend. Yes. I was telling Dinah, I had the girls. My daughter's AC broke, and uh, and Emily has no tolerance for the heat. I said it's not that hot, Emily. You'll be fine. 
She said, got lucky. it's going to be in the 80s. I said, so? It's the summertime, Emily. Actually, that... <laughs> It was dry. Yeah, it was windy. She, if was, there was a, it was a breeze, breezy. Yeah. I said, open your windows to get some cross, cross ventilation, ventilation going. Sure. You'll be fine. You know, Honestly, but she was wasn't like, that bad. She has no, you know, you go in their house, it's like an icebox. I like, that's how I it, like It's like an icebox in her My house. My bedroom is like that. Yeah. The whole house. <laughs> so, so, I mean, you could freeze up there, you know, the kid with the, the way we they. We keep, I mean, at night, 66 degrees. I, I have to say, that's what I do with my air conditioner as well at night. I, I like to be cold yes. at night. I'll rather put a blanket Snuggle, on yes. than to die. If I'm hot, I'm awake, you know. So, But um, she has, she has, she'll come by me and she'll say, oh, it's so hot. <laughs> and I don't In have your apartment? Yeah. I mean, I don't put it, I don't run no, it 24-7. Right. You know. You run it when you need it. When I, I put need it, it at but night she'll when walk I go in to bed. And she's, oh, She's dying, you know. I said, That's Emily. That's too funny. You, yeah, she really has no tolerance for the That's heat. okay. But at least, you know, her and her husband no are on the same, same, the same uh, wavelength, you know. You have no tolerance for heat right now. Is that right? Yeah. Well, Diana and I, we have the air on in the shop, and it comes up in the vents, and it, like, if you're standing by the register, it blows up your clothes, right? Ice cold. And that is freezing over there. And that's set to 72 degrees. Freezing. It you is could... not like my AC at home. <laughs> Definitely different thermostat. Exactly. I don't know. Exactly. But anyway, so we're looking forward. It'll be nice to have some warm. I mean, I say that now. To have know, some until hot, you start walking hot, humid outside. weather until I have to. When's the last day of school? A week from Wednesday. Oh, so you're going to be in school during the hot weather? Mm -hmm. oh, hot and humid in New York is hot not the humid. most fun. Although today, I will tell you, this year we're in a classroom that's like on the basement level. It has windows, of course, but it's the lowest level. So, of course, it's not as hot as if you were on the second floor. Right. Because you have the sun beating on it. And we have an AC. Not every classroom has an AC. Oh, you have blessed. to have a reason to have an AC. Like and what is someone your reason? Has an, uh, I don't know. You have to have, like, you know, it's at this time of year when they come into your room. These guys come in, and they put a marking on the air conditioner, which means... Uh, you're not going to need that next year. And that's like, what? because, the, you know, you might so have it because know. there's a kid with an allergy. Um, or you might have it because, and if you don't need it, they'll move it. And I said, you know what they need to do? They need to get the parents. <clears throat> the parents need to go to school for a straight week of hot weather. And see what it feels and like. And they have to be kid. in that classroom and do what the kid does every day on that hot weather. And then you'll see how fast they'll air condition all the rooms. They'll say, oh, the electric can't can handle should, it. Yeah. But it can air condition the offices. <laughs> Those are air conditioned, you know. But anyway, so in our classroom, we have an air conditioner. So the kid comes to me. A f it was just a while Maybe ago. Maybe you can move up with the kid. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and the kid says, I'm cold. So the teacher said, listen. I suggest you bring a sweatshirt to school that if you're chilly, you can put it on. So she Keep sent it that home. Cover. And a kid come to me today. I'm cold. I said, well, you know what? Where's your sweatshirt? He said, I don't have one. I said, well, too bad. <laughs> I didn't say it that way, but I was I like, mean, it's, not, it's not home, cold in here. It's not cold in here. I mean, you can shut it, but in 20 minutes, it starts getting warm. You know, when it's this warm, when it starts getting warm out, you know. Yep. But it does get chilly. It does get chilly. When I went out at lunchtime, I was nice and cool. You know, you know how when you go outside and you're cool and then you, you say, oh, the, the sun feels good. You know? Yes, it, like it, was it warms like, you up. It was like that. But I so I'm very that. lucky. If you're upstairs, <clears throat> that upstairs floor is extremely hot. Do you get a lot of visitors in the classroom? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wanting, right. People wanting to cool off? He won't be complaining next year if he's not in a room that's air conditioned, you know. <laughs> Isn't that crazy when you stop and think about it that the rooms aren't aren't air conditioned? Yes. I heard today on the news that they they're going to sign something tomorrow, which I think this is crazy. But you know, again, I know people are going to disagree with me, but I forget what they're calling it. But if it's above eighty eight degrees out, they close the school. I think that's ridiculous. Why? Because not all schools are air conditioned? They didn't say that. They just said it was too warm. So in other words, it's like the opposite of a snow day. It's a 88 hot day. 88 degrees? Put an air conditioner on. Put a fan on. I mean, it's school. When are you going to send these kids home? They're never going to get done. You know? I don't that's know. I just crazy. think that's a bit much. Is that again, just in the city? I just heard it today. I never heard of such. No, from no from upstate down to like it, Staten will it affect Island. you? I don't know. Well, we're not. Yeah, well, I guess it's New York State. It's not like it's New York City. I don't know. Don't know. That's and, interesting. And, it, and if you have an air conditioner, why do they need to, to shut it? That's kind of silly, right? Isn't that crazy? I wonder if the great next schools have air conditioning. 
I don't know. Ask you Joe. know, the thing you have to realize too with the schools, like this, this school was built in like the 1920s. I get it, but you can put in a, a single unit. Right. Then they'll say to us when we say that they'll say, "Oh, but with the electric doesn't it can't handle it." If they want the electric to handle it, they can't. Can make, you? They can do. You know, upgrade it. Right. 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 I so mean, that's what I say. Instead of giving it a hot day off, <laughs> why don't you just upgrade <laughs> and like, fix it? Fix it. Fix it. Yeah. I, I can't speak for other schools. It's not just fix it as like a Band-Aid. It's right. like it's a permanent solution. Right, right, right. But the thing in New York is you don't need it. Like you might need it in September, a little bit I into October. I was going to say, might need it interestingly, like May and June. it's more September that you guys really yeah, need it. It's very hot when you go, hot. Back. Yeah, you go back. That is hot. But anyway, so needless to say, I can't speak for any other schools, so I don't know. I'm just telling you what I heard. Anyway, so what's going on? How was your weekend, Diana? Also very busy. We had... Um, Shabbat dinner. Mm-hmm. We had, what did we do on Saturday? You were gardening on Saturday. I definitely, I wasn't really gardening so much as cleaning up my deck. Mm. It looks beautiful. Good. You should yeah. enjoy it. You sit out there and have your coffee, don't you? And when it's the clutter, you know how we were oh, talking about the, yeah. the Marie Kondo? So we yes, kind of did that yeah. on the deck. And yeah. we love to drink our coffee yeah. on the deck. Oh, that's so nice. we just cleaned up. I usually have vegetables, so it's different now with plants and flowers. Oh, you don't have vegetables this mm -mm. year. Why? I don't know. Oh, you didn't feel like doing them this no. year. No, good. I'm really enjoying the plants and the flowers. A kid at school told me today that he bought tomatoes at the plant sale at school That's and that cute. they're really doing very well. <laughs> we have some vegetables downstairs. downstairs I tend to go overboard. Yeah, yeah. And it's a big commitment, so I was just like, you know what, the flowers. It's a lot of work. Yeah. Mm. So we did that. Uh, met Marianne. Oh, that's She's right. going to dog sit. And what else? We saw Ben Platt. Who was that? He was the main character in Dear Evan Hansen. Oh, I don't know that. Broadway show. Okay. Uh, the kids know him in Pitch what Perfect. Was it? What did you say? He was... did a concert. Oh, he he sings? Second, uh, yeah, oh, nice. second album. Nice. And it was his last performance. Oh. So we went last minute. That was oh, fun. Oh, that's nice. And then Sunday, Father's Day. Oh, so you had how many people over? 20. <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> But I have to say, the kids all they helped. helped. Oh, and right. I have to also say, I delegated. Good. I never do That's that. That's the key. It was so That's good. That's the key. That the key is to delegate. So I delegated, and it was a great, great weekend. Alice was like, this is the best Father's Day. So I was happy for oh, him. Oh, he said that? Oh, that's yeah. so nice. That's he sent so me nice. a text this morning. He was so happy. Oh, good. Well, yeah. that's nice. That's yeah. nice. It that's was really nice. worth it. It was very nice that he acknowledged that, yes. too. it made me feel good. So speaking about concerts, I'm just realizing, you know what I have tickets for in October? Michael Bublé. No, I wish it was Michael Bublé. Is he around? No. Barry Manilow. Oh, I love Barry. <laughs> He's my guy. <laughs> you like Barry? I love Barry. Oh. <laughs> I, love I really Barry. do like Barry. Miller. He was in I radio him, he was at Radio City I earlier. Saw him in Vegas. Oh, did you? He looks like a you have anything. to understand when I was in high school, like in, this was in I like 71, Barry. 72, you were a child back I know, then. but I grew I, I used to play his albums all the time. Only Barry. Yes, only That's Barry. That's me, yeah. And then when I was grown, and I had, remember, I used to go to the pediatrician. When my kids were young, there was a nurse that was in his fan club. I don't know if she did something in his fan club. If he was in New York, she was at every single show. And I went to every show religiously. I would go with Patrice, you know. And then at some point, Years I switched to Michael Bublé. Not that I wouldn't like Barry Manilow, right? But he was at Radio City recently, and one of the girls where I get my hair done, she went. I saw her on Facebook. I said, to her, Connie, to were that. you at the Barry Manilow concert the other day?" She said, "Yes, I was." I said, she "I'm he's still performing at Radio City. At Radio City is a great venue." Yeah. Well, we so we saw Ben Platt at the Palace Theater. Okay. Never been there. Apparently, it's like homage to Liza Minnelli, yeah, and yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of big names. Yeah. And it's a small, intimate theater. And we got mm -hmm. tickets last minute. And we were like, where should we sit? And then spoke to Danielle, spoke to Meryl. She yeah. also went, there really is not a bad it's seat not, in that right, house. Right, right, Because it's right. so small and intimate. Right, right. I don't know what Radio City is. I haven't been there in a Radio while. Radio City, really, you can see from wherever you are, of course, if you're sitting closer up. But it's not, it's not like you're at Madison Square Garden. Is my point. Correct. You know, it's a small event. So when we saw Barry in Vegas, mm. in one of How the hotels, was it? it was big. It was big, right? Yeah. But one thing that I will say is Barry also did this. He kind of 
talked you yes, through the yes, songs, yes, like through yes, the yes, yes. timeline. Yeah, and then he brings and someone up there to sing I Can't Smile Without You. He I does that in his love, shows. Love, love, love. <laughs> <laughs> and Ben Platt actually did the, same, did the thing. same thing. He's like, this is where I started. This is this song. Yeah, right. How so it relates to his too. life. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, that's nice. That's and nice. especially in an intimate setting. Mm -hmm. And he, mm -hmm. you're really connecting with, with yeah, him as yeah. a person. It was oh, well, great. So I, I'm, good. Ex I'm excited. You can't I see him because seen, it's over. I haven't seen Barry in, gosh, I would maybe say we'll 20 years maybe or something. But, you know, then I saw he was going to be, I thought I had missed him because it was maybe back in April. But then I saw he was there in October, like on a, I don't know if it's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And so, so you got tickets in advance. So, uh, well, I was going to get the tickets and then uh, Andrew got them for Mother's Day. Aww, and so he got so them, sweet. which was sweet. And then. Um, Way to uh, go, Andrew. So then I was talking to this girl, Connie, again on Saturday, and she's going again this time. But that's what people do. They go to every show. But, you know, today is his birthday. Is it? you know how old he is? No. What do you think? Guess. Guess how old you think he is. Take a guess, pause it, and think how, how, how old Barry Everyone, Manilow is. 87. No, 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 no. He's 81. Okay. <laughs> oh, you made him sound young. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. You made him sound Sorry, young. Sorry, Barry. <laughs> but anyway, so. Um, He's 81? That's not that old. 81. Well, listen, you know, these guys. He's not old. He puts on a very good show. He's and great. And his music is fabulous. So He's now, so today, yeah, well, he is. Oh, my God. So today I, I said, okay, it's time to put some Barry Manilow on the Spotify in the car. Did you listen to him? <laughs> so we were listening to Ben Platt all week. At least I was because Danielle was like, right. Danielle had sent me the Spotify. It was very oh, funny. Nice, nice. Yeah, because I don't really follow his music and mm. it's a new album. Mm. So I was a little bit more familiar than she was and she's a big fan. But it well, was fun. This is going to be the summer of Barry Manilow because we have to go. prepare now for the concert in October. <laughs> Does he have a new album out? No. No. He's, oh, it's amazing how they just still. He's got so much music. There's great. so many, so many great songs. Yeah. Like your weekend in New England. There's so many good ones. I mean, how about American Bandstand? What is that, Dinah? It's. Hold on. I have to turn my phone. Was that your phone? Yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> ah, Here there we are. you go. Um, American Bandstand. It's just so many great ones. Anyway, so we're excited. I just remember him in high school, and I would listen to him and fall asleep on the beach. Oh. He would just, like, put me to sleep. <laughs> just, like, But I would go to a Michael Bublé concert, too, of course. Is he in concert is the question. Oh, he does. He does. He was around, um, I think last year was the first like year he was song? around. I didn't see him. Oh, really? I didn't see him. Yeah, but usually do go. Now, you talk about a, a price for a ticket. His tickets last year were very expensive, Michael Bublé. Really? Yeah. Very expensive. Not that I wouldn't go, but you know, it depends. You have to be in the mood, right? I like. I him. mean, what ticket is it? not expensive nowadays, right? Really, when you stop and think about it. It's but true. you know what? The, how often do I go? That's the thing you have to think about. And you just start getting older, and he's getting older. You never know how many more times you're going to get to see him, right? Yes. <laughs> anyway, super fun. So, what are we doing? What are you knitting on, Diana? There. I'm knitting on my salmon set twenty four. Designed by Elspeth Judith. Oh, you're getting there, Dinah. It's getting some length. How much more do you have to do? You must almost be done. <clears throat> I don't know if it's another repeat. I would think another repeat I think in the another border. Repeat, yeah. Looks good. I think I hit my belly. <laughs> now I need to cover you're the your belly button. <laughs> you're at your belly button right now. Now I have to cover the spare. What are you wearing tonight, Dinah? I am wearing Montpellier. And who's it designed by? <gasps> Asking the wrong person. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, it's made out of Whoops. ticklina jelly it bean is green. I can tell know. you that yes. much. The ticklina. I have to say, tick what's has called been... Montpellier? I'll look yes. it up for you. Thank you. It's a cute tank top. It's got very deep armhole, and yes, I'm wearing a tank top yeah, underneath. You have to, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is not what, well, unless you pr are okay with exposing your bra. Maybe you want to wear I a tankini or younger. a sports bra. Yeah. yeah, not for me. By Anne Fuscum Sunday. Sunday, Sund. But is it uh, like she's got a, who is it by? November Knits. Thank you. That's the one that I know. November Knits. And it company. says suggestion, suggestion, suggested yarn is the tick or lena. I don't know, are they doubling the lena if they Probably. use it? Probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a anyway. fun, quick knit. And again, the tick lena is just like the lena. It's a 
cotton linen viscose blend. Not sure if you could see it, but there's like it's a ribbing like on a the ribbing side, down there, yeah. and the ribbing goes around the neck. Yeah, I didn't I mean, make that one. Not around the neck, around the armband. Mm. It's a nice one. It's pretty. Yeah, I like the ticklina. My jelly bean green. Yeah. I think it was like ten skeins. Was it that many? Well, it's only sixteen. I know there's not that much yardage. Yeah. So it's a lot of like people have been yards. buying the tickling. I think they're, I don't know what they're doing with it. Maybe I, crocheting hats. Could be. I don't know if how many people are doing that, though, though. I mean, I think that there's uh, also selling, the... We've been selling, like, um, What was the other top? We, they, we, we did the... Um, the Chevron Vest from Beth The Chevron Vest from yeah, Beth That's McDonald's a great one. Stuff. That's another nice that's one like out of Ticklina. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's very pretty. So that was a fun one. And I am wearing nothing today. I wouldn't say nothing. She's wearing a low cut V. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing just a, a white, white tea. cotton tee. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, yeah. So that's what I'm wearing. What do you have as On far my, as whips? Well, I will show you. And I'm only showing you this because I did make progress and they didn't see it because we had the Zoom, right? My sleeve. Yes. That's correct. So it's not blocked, but I did a sleeve on my garden. Woohoo! So now, oops, it's the wrong way. So now I need to do another sleeve. She's leaped on to the other sleeve. And then at that point, then I'll check the length after a good blocking and see if I'm, I can just do the ribbing and it's done. Really doesn't so need exciting. any seams or anything like that. This is done out of the um, felted tweed from Rowan, the color uh, cumin. And um, just love it. Beautiful it's pan. Be a great sweater. It's not a summer wear necessarily, but um, I'm it might be on a chilly night. It could be, yep. You have like a tank top underneath. Right, right. You know, the late see why summer. why not? It's Especially lacy. the late summer, you know, nights as, as the summer is. It's also lacy, so you yeah. might be able to. Yeah. It depends what you're wearing under it, too. Correct. So anyway, that's my um, garden. Garden. Look at this. I'm garden, going garden. to show it also. So for show notes, it'll be a lot easier. Mm -hmm. I'm also on the garden cardigan, and I... And, and we should say, yeah, the sleeves in the bottom have a tubular binder. Right. And the tubular, for those of you who don't know what that is, this is like an inf almost is like an infinite it's cast like the off. Yarn. The yarn ribbing or the ribbing kind of just is infinite. It goes from yeah. under to over mm -hmm. without a hard line. Mm -hmm. So we love the tubular bind off. It's a fun detail. We went over that in class. I've is that your once. second sleeve? No. What do you have on your second sleeve? This is my second sleeve. I, I would yes. If I done. had the second sleeve cast on, I could pick it up and knit on it. But I don't have the second sleeve. But then again, there are increase or decreases, so not you have the to first keep track. Well, Seventeen not that. Months. Yeah, but still, yeah. I mean, it's mindless. It's Diana and I were having a conversation about how a lot of the stuff we have that we're knitting on is not mindless knitting. So if you want to sit and just knit. Sometimes it's you not, need a chart, you have yeah. a bunch of decreases, so it's not Every, something you can yeah. just necessarily pick up. But I'm thinking if I pick up that sleeve. Why don't you sit and pick it up now? Is oh, no, I can't do it now. I can't. I've got to make sure of the needle. No, I can't do it now. That's my garden cardigan. It's designed by Anka Strick. I'm also knitting it in the Rowan Felted Tweed, and it's the colorway peach. Yeah. I am knitting my next one. I will only show you this because maybe you'll see. Tell me, Diana, that you see some progress. <laughs> I'm sure you have progress. <laughs> I don't know. I will tell you a funny story about this too. I had um, this is the this is the front. Such a great see. top. Uh, you can see it's getting longer. This is my marker. Look at my marker. Wow, you did do so a lot. So I've done for my marker. Um, I had a doctor's progress appointment keeper. the other day, and uh, ma ma mammography, sonogram, whatnot. Yes. So listen to this story. They do all that, and after the sonogram, the technician says, uh, "Have a seat." Uh, the doctor's going to be with you. Okay. There's a person ahead of you. So she said, if you want to go on your phone, go on your phone. I took out my knitting. Of course. Okay. How so many I took rounds the, did you do? So I took the, well, this is the story. I took it out. Do you know I waited so long I ran out of yarn? Stop. Could you, could you just die? I was waiting for her for almost an hour. That's 50 crazy. minutes to an hour. And the long story short is they come in and they, they said there was a difficult case. Okay, that's fine. I understand that. I, I you know, listen, I don't care. Whatever when the doctor comes. The one preceding you? Yeah. That's fine. So then the the woman who did the mammography comes in, she's got a piece of paper in her hand, she says, Oh, you can go, everything is fine. I said, Where's the doctor? And the doctor coming in? Usually that's the doctor annoying. comes in, she looks like at the mammography, you're, you're in there with the sonogram, she'll look, she'll take the, the sonogram thing and she'll look around and do whatever and make sure it's a, every single time. 
and I was so annoyed. I, I was very... Um, Why did you have I to I was wait? more than annoyed. I wasn't annoyed. I mean, I understand there are, there are important cases. You know, I do understand that. Um, if... But, you know, my history is, I will say, uh, four, six years ago I had breast cancer. Very, you know, very... Um, um, not a complicated case, you know, it wasn't anything big, you know. But when you go for, for a, you want the doctor to look at it, right? Am I right? Yes. And I said to the woman, the technician who was very sweet, who did the sonogram, I said, Did you say I'm not something? saying that someone's, that I'm not saying I'm more important than anyone else. I would never say that. But I said, I've waited, I made this appointment in November for this particular doctor. And I said, my did other you say something? My, well, to her I did. I have to call my I would call the doctor and say, I would like you to look over my films. I understand right. you had an important case ahead of me, but I did make an well, appointment. Well, they said that she looked at them. But my point is, my it's point is she different didn't. when they talk to you. Right. It's and if she was upset by something, if she had an upsetting case, so how well did she look at the scans? I'd like to say it was well, right, of course. I don't know. So... So I was more, I wasn't annoyed in that regard. I was, I was more, um, I was very, uh, I was, I was very upset, you know, I was just like, you know, this doesn't seem right to me, you know, and I said to the woman, I waited since November. It's Meanwhile, my doctors, the two doctors said to me, you shouldn't be waiting until June because I was supposed to have it in January. And they said, you shouldn't be waiting until June. I said, well, you call and get me the appointment sooner. Did you make an? You know what you should have done. Yeah, no, I couldn't get Did it. Did you make an appointment See, for next year? I made my so my mammography because mm -hmm. I finally went. I made my appointment for next year. Right then. No, I didn't make it yet, but I will. You I should. will make it very soon because I'm not. And I would you know. call. Like, is she in NYU Langone where you have like shared charts? They uh, Cause well, you can message. yeah, they can share all the charts. But she, you can my message My gynecologist her. is NYU Langone. Um, I don't think she is. She's no. Um, no, she's the other one. The um, I have to say, I love that feature that you can like write oh, yeah. to them. Yeah, and then they well, answer that's what you I'm going to do. I'm gonna, messages. I'm going to write on my chart to the gynecologist and say, listen. And the other thing was, they were supposed to do bone density, and they wouldn't do it because they said it has been two years. It's been a year and a half. And I said, well, when I was at the doctor's uh, in April, she said I'd like you to have the bone density. You haven't had it since January of last year, and they said to me, well, you can only have it every two years, so you can't have it today. So Now you have to align that. So she said it's not hard to get a bone density appointment. So I said, okay, fine, that's not an issue. But, but that happened, or you should do that for the, the shingles. Sec the second you know, shot. you could go, where did you go and get it? I went to my physician, but they, he oh. told me I can just go anywhere. Yeah, you could go into Stop yeah. and Shop and do it. Really? I haven't had, I was supposed to have both, I haven't done any. I need my Did you get one. sick the first time you had it? Yeah. Yeah, you do. They say everyone says you do. Yeah. Um, I had like a trifecta, and I think it was the shingles that put me over there. So edge. that's what happened with this sweater now. So I'm sitting there waiting and waiting. I ran out of yarn. And I have so to annoying. say, it was just at the almost the point where they came in. So I've made progress. I think I have to do six inches from here, I think is what I have to do. Oh, you're almost done. That's not, that's like two inches. Two and a half inches, maybe. Four inches is not a lot. Anyway, so that's that. So I got that done. I got. I did make. So the one good thing was I made progress on it. Terrific. Anyway, but go ahead. Sorry to have that little diversion, but I was no. very upset by that. And I always say, if I have my knitting, it yes. somehow yeah, you could leave me sitting there for an hour. <laughs> Which clearly never happens because it's like that's found time, you know. It's like when you bring your knitting and you're all prepared, they take you in right away. Right. But right. when there's like, and a of course I was short. I, I looked in my bag. I said, "Oh, I don't have another skein." Anyway, too funny. So Dinah is going to show us now her Nila. I have my Nila. You made progress on I that. I did Dinah. make progress. I'm getting ready. We have our next tomorrow Nila class. <coughs> on Excuse me. Tuesday. Yep. tomorrow today's monday and we're going to take it to the next step here i am getting excited i'll be able to join in the round yep that is my next step and then i will just be working on knit side facing or right side facing so that it's going to change everything the chart. it's going to change the chart yes yeah. and it'll also change i mean all the pattern stitching yep what do you mean it'll change it meaning like i won't have the pearl rose. I'll have to, I'll right, be knitting. Exactly. Right, exactly. Right, right, I have right. to be cognizant to me now. that's better. <laughs> yes, but you know, you start you, doing something yes, a certain right, way, right. you're going to revert. Well, you know what I did on this when I was doing mine on the top? 
it's like half of the row is the chart, half of the row is the stitch pattern. I would do it and I would turn to do the next row and I would be doing the stitch pattern on the, I would be doing the lace on the stitch pattern end. See? I must have done that three times. So annoyed. <laughs> this is a pattern designed by Natasha Hornby. I'm using the Knitting Place Merino Linen and the colorway is Sienna. And it is a, a well, it could be a three-quarter sleeve or a tank. But what Diana's going to do on, I, you're not, you're doing the tank, right? I, haven't, I like think the cap, cap sleeve. sleeve, yeah. I haven't decided <coughs> yet if me. I'm going to add length or not. Uh, my to arms the body are, to, or to the no, sleeve? To, yeah, it oh. depends on where it lays. I'm going to try it on. My, my arms are always very soft dig. So we'll see how I feel. Joan used to call them Hadass, Hadass, Hadass arms. <laughs> I still love that. <laughs> She's what a so great funny. expression. Um, I will show you my progress on my Neela now. It's not the progress that Dinah has made by any means. But, um, you don't have to compare. I will. That's my back, of course. This is my front. I have just done. Oh, look at how great. Why is it? Definitely a different texture. Right. Like you really have wonderful stitch definition right. in the Sunday. So there's the front. Now I'm starting to increase for the neck going this way. I'll do the same thing. I have another about 10 rows to do, eight or, eight or 10 rows, and I'll do the same on this side and then just go down further. That's great. But look at your stitch definition compared to mine. Like you really see the diamond lace right. uh, pattern, which is gorgeous. And you certainly see the stitch pattern here on the side. Right, right. Very and pretty. It's pretty, right? It's gorgeous. And I am using the uh, Sunday yarn from um, Santa's San San Garn, which is a non-superwash yarn, um, fingering, fingering weight. weight. Yeah, it's a lovely yarn. I mean, it's thin, but it's it's a nice yarn to knit with. It's comfortable knitting. Thin doesn't bother yeah. me. Yeah, it's not some, but there's some yarns that they're annoying to knit with. You know, they just. So the merino reason. linen, I will say, it has, like, every now and again you get these, like, tufts of the linen that just mm -hmm. didn't take the dye. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, that's the nature of the yarn, though. I know. But sometimes it's such a void that I end up combing it out. Right. But that's me. Sometimes it's better than others. Right, right, you know, I'll right, get a right, span. Right, right. And then all of a sudden I'll get this slub that, to me, just looks gnarly. So Annoying I just shake you. it out. Yeah. So you can change it. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, um, I the next thing I have to show is some of my squares on my so pretty my Jethro. Um, I was going to show you something. I want to see if, what you think about it. This is what I'm going to show. Let me see if I can find it now. I did have it organized, but of course, why would I have it organized now? I think this is the one. Is this the one? No, that's not the one. Bear with me. Bear with me. Uh, let me see. Nope, it's not that one. Jethro has been fun. It is fun. I picked it up again. I was trying to do a square a day. Some days I did two if I didn't pick something else up. Once you get into the rhythm with crochet, it kind of becomes addicting. You just, you're with either on it or off it. Yeah. Right. Exactly. It's, it's fun. I agree with that. I think this is the one. No, that's Definitely got the into one. rhythm, that's which was nice because I caught up a little, but certainly I'm still way behind. Oh, and we actually have that. to make an announcement. Can I announce it now? Yeah, go ahead. What's your So for the Jethro class, um, I'm going to be... What did you change? Oh, oh, you're too, oh I know we're what We're changing the date. <coughs> the, <coughs> Excuse me. We're not going to host the class on the 27th, and we will send... We should really post it in the Facebook group. But for those of you who are watching, we're going to have our second class. And yes, it's not too late to join. Classes are always available uh, but our Jethro is going to run on Thursday for the live zoom this Thursday and we apologize are we changing for... the date yes what's it supposed to be the 27th of June no 25th that's next Tuesday so instead We're... of next Tuesday it's going to be Thursday. Thursday that's only four days all right, right. I listen <laughs> our people that are on the zoom would have more squares knit than we do yes. crochet than we do interestingly these are my colors but this square this is when I inverted the colors, Dinah. Okay. So on the initial one I did, I had this color and then the blue and the multi and the camel and the main color. On this one, I did the camel on the inside, right? Yep. Then I did the light color here for two rounds. Then I did the blue, the darker blue, and then that on the outside. So do you think there's a big... That look, look, they look different, right? 
It's funny. I feel like this square looks bigger, and they're it's clearly well, not. Well, this one, yeah. It's well. just that it's lighter on the outside, which makes it look bigger, and it may, like right dark, because it's, it's lighter on the it's, outside. Yes. yes, it's framed in a darker color. So I did that on like maybe two of the squares just now. I don't know what the other two's are, the two are, but isn't that interesting? It's fun. It's a fun way of changing the colors up a little bit without right? having to think. Without having to think too much. So anyway, so I've gotten. It's become that's like the hardest part thinking about what color order. So there you go. There are my squares. They look great. And I plug along every now and again. I pop out a square. <laughs> Love that. I feel like doing it. So I need everyone's help. Yeah, Diana has a I have a dilemma. She's got a dilemma. <laughs> She's got a color I, dilemma. So I she, have a color dilemma. She needs your assistance in helping her. Maybe you all her. can weigh in. Um, I don't know how many I have. But this is like the Well, just show it. them. You have to show them this one. So... Mm. I crocheted a round of but this pale good, gray. That's not a good, well, that's the only one you have with the pale gray. Yes. And this is a Sunday, a double Sunday color, and I don't recall the number. It's Kit, 1015. But Kit is a warmer color, but okay. Yeah, maybe it's not. It has like maybe a it's 10, gray. Maybe it's 1012. No. no, a gray undertone. No. And I but, just thought but, but. it was going to be too light. Just show Framing. them some of you. That, that happens to be a light square. Which it works with this cut. Yeah. Like, I feel like this square it works because it kind of bleeds into right. and it's not a harsh line. That would be the same as this square. Correct. What I had a problem with is framing this light color around this very dark round. And in thinking about it, I've neglected to use my dark penumbra around all of my squares because I think it's going to be so too harsh. So she's avoiding. I'm avoiding it. The dark color. Right. So I'm wondering if you thought I should switch to Silver Fox, which really. It's not much different. Not much different. It looks the but same it's a little bit screen. shaded and a little darker. <laughs> or should I go to Great Gray Owl? Yeah, I'll say Great Gray Owl. But again, so it depends this, which one you These hold. are the options. I think that one is definitely out. It's between these two. You can, honestly, I'm looking at there. I don't see a big difference between these two grays. In person, there is a big a difference, but there it is. What do you think? I can tell you that one. Gray, gray owl or see, silver fox. I'm thinking that if she's going to do silver fox, she might as well keep what she's got. So if she's going to make a change, but that's even lighter. She's got to go to that one. I don't know. Well, see what they say. So help me out. I definitely need an answer before Thursday because that's when we're doing our next. <laughs> Actually, I could show the demonstration in that. Doesn't make a difference. Yes. I have not. Uh, we're going to show two techniques. So if you're interested in joining the cow, we're going to show <coughs> the technique that was demonstrated by Tannis. And Pam is going to show the sewn technique, right. another variation of how to attach the squares. Green squares. That is my Jethro. Jethro is designed by um, Tannis, Tannis. Le yep, mm -hmm. Tannis Fiber Arts or Tannis Lavalet. Um, is it Lavalet or Lavalie? I thought it was Lavalet, but you can't go by me. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Tannis Fiber Arts, you can find the pattern. It's available on Ravelry under crochet. It's actually, even though it's half knit, half crochet, mm -hmm. it's under, you'll find mm -hmm. the pattern categorized under crochet. And you should you tell them that that a final round color she's talking about every square has it around it's also the sleeve color and the ribbing color around the band right. and the bottom of the sweater so, so now that's that you know where, that yeah do we want to go so, with this color or right. this color <laughs> exactly so Which that's one? you know what it's not just one round around the square it's the squares so every square she's will have that around this. so when she puts them together There'll be two of those rounds in between each square. Am I right? Yeah. They butt up to each other, correct. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. So it'll be like a grounding color, like it kind of brings it all together. Right. And it's your sleeve, your ribbing, and so on. Curious and so forth. to know your mm -hmm. opinion. Uh, so that's Jethro. The the yarn I used here is Madeline Tosh DK, and I also included Double Sunday. Double Sunday mm -hmm. from Santa Scarn. Mm hmm. Yeah, my yarn, I should have said, is um, 
Devil Sunday. I have some hedgehog in there. Hedgehog DK. I put some we kind of just went for color. There. We didn't. Mm -hmm. We weren't strict about. We have superwash, non superwash. I will say I stuck two additional colors in for my stash at home. There you go. You know, uh, it's the perfect thing went, for stash busting. Right. So anyway, that's that. So now we have. What else do I have? You have something else? Yes. Oh, you do. You have the knit along thing, right? I have the self that I can show mm. you. Do you have any more whips? No, no, I'm done. No. Mm -mm. I didn't bring the silk because I haven't worked on it. I have been trying to do two rows a day. I fell behind Ugh. one day. <laughs> two rows. That's all I'm trying to do. But it landed me my flower. So I just wanted to show you. Did I did you do make, the flower? I did. I did one row of flowers, oh, nice. which is right here. Oops. This is called That's, silk. That is a ton of knitting, those flowers. But getting up to the flower row is really very easy. Right. It, it is, is such a reprieve. Mm -hmm, I'm like mm -hmm. zipping through that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But this is the row that's beefy, the two yeah. rows making right. the flowers. But here it is. Right. Such a fun. I still think these are worse than that. Because like you Time said, consuming that's wise? one row. This is every row. Yeah, but you have to do it eight times in one care. stitch. I don't care. I don't know. You'll see. I still love it. It's gorgeous. It's a great. Look that's at the a, texture. That's, I was just going to say, it's all about the texture. It's insane. Mm, so beautiful. this is the Sylph. Mm. It's designed by Natasha Hornby. Yep. I'm using Rowan Felted Tweed, which I have to say was the designer's choice. Yep. And it really is just perfect. It's not It's not it's heavy. It's lightweight. Wash. It's a not. Oh, yep. Yep. I will breathe wearing this. Right. right. When it's hot. It'll cool me. And when that hasn't cold, been blocked it'll either. When no. you block it, it'll open beautifully. So second time was definitely a mm -hmm. charm. Mm -hmm. It was smart. Second go around, you guys all remember. You loosened up. I did. <laughs> so that is myself. I'm very happy with it. Good. And so we talked about what? writing notes. I said I left a skein. Yeah. Right? Because I thought I was going to oh, run yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't run out. You didn't run out. Because <laughs> I didn't get that much. Well, you know, but you, but but you, you have like bigger But eyes. you didn't really know how much yarn those flowers would use. No. You know, oh, so that, no. that that's that's a big yeah. question mark on that. I can understand why you weren't sure. Um, I have success on my test knit. Success. Oh, got the, you yeah. Know, you did a lot of knitting. Well, I didn't do a lot of knitting. Yes, you did. You got the flowers done. That, I mean, listen, you got a flower. That was, That's a lot. That was like last week. That was before. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was right after, that was like Tuesday. Oh, okay. Yeah. So <laughs> I had shown oh, you this color. Oh, that's what you were saying, the mohair. You changed yes. the color. I, well, I like the new color better. Yes. So I thought that this would be enough of a hue. It has a pinkish hue, even though it's getting blown out. Mm -hmm. And it's just the right shade of light pink that's... Mm -hmm the light pink or light yeah, peachy pink in here. But when I knit it up, it looked very white and I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. So I ripped, I came back and I got another skein and I was I like worried that that, that would look too like pink. That. No, no, no. But when you knit it up, no. I think it's being held with by itself, by itself, it's sheer. I didn't do much, but I did do a bead row, which was very interesting. Oh, I with don't the know. mohair? Yeah. Do you see it? Mm. It's in there. It was a new technique. I've never done that technique before. You're like beating it through three stitches. It's intense. Nice. So that was fun. Something new to me. Uh, was it fiddly? I know you guys are going to ask. It was fiddly because I'd never done that before. You guys have to see this crochet hook that I'm using. Oh, jeez. I'm just going to show you this little tiny thing. It's tiny. Like... It's tiny. It looks like a sewing needle. Yeah. It appears bigger on screen. Yeah. It's really tiny. So that is my crochet hook. That's I've never done this knit. before. It's a test knit for Pope Vergara. It's called Morning Fog. It's not out yet. It should be out. I think she said the deadline is July 18th. Uh, last time I showed this to you, I think I was halfway through the blue. And I'm only doing a couple rows a day. That's all. Oh, I had fun. time for, but yeah, it's fun. So that's it. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. And she did start something else. I did. Well, we have the Lumina. We have our Cal, which begins tomorrow. And we're still getting people sign up. 
of course, that's also available. A what? To sign up? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. To yeah, join absolutely. us. We're going to host our first. You've got the papers Zoom. over there for that. The, the thing with the Luminous is, and it's L-U-M-I-N-O-S if you're looking for it. Otherwise, you won't find it. Is it's, um, you could do it, she did it with a solid and a hand dyed up on top. Or you could do it with two solids, which is lovely. And um, it is knit from the bottom up. And it's almost like, um, how would you describe it? It's, it's got a unique construction because yeah. you're not casting on all of your stitches at the same time. Right. It's done differently. You're building in the chevron. Uh, it's knit in a it's chevron. It's like a chevron. They almost say it's like knitting a chevron scarf, right? right? She honestly refers to it almost like shawl knitting. Yeah. But it's a different It's a different approach and construction to the sweater, which is why we decided to host a knit along. It was very cute. I'm in a little uh, group chat and one of um, one of the ladies said, who's doing this, Cal? I don't understand anything. <laughs> she bought the pattern. She's reading ahead. Of course, when you join the Cal. Oh, it's a very difficult one to read ahead on. I think this one is a, probably yeah, a little I, more challenging. It would you be, kind of want to yeah, do it and go in step. stages. Right, right, right. But because it's not your typical cast everything on or right. even with right. natasha or where she says down. top down do left side first you have different sides but she's incorporating a little bit and more. because it's a chevron it's uh, of course you bottom up but it's not an even shape it's not but she also does have this lovely up on top these you can't really see it there but on the sleeve there's a great i don't know what she calls it a surface chain, chain. A surface chain i think she does it on the shoulder or the way she joins the shoulder is very does she use the surface chain to join the shoulder she might i'm not sure I didn't but anyway it's a very interesting construction you should check it out it's designed by yamagara it's sleeveless so. <laughs> so you won't get stuck it's on sleeve stockinette Island. which we're really i have to say i cast on and i was telling pam it is such a reprieve between the crochet oh, squares, I know. I know. the lace and the nila, the flowers right. and the self, the garden. I told Dinah, <laughs> I, met, I met David and Dennis the other day for coffee. I like had known, the only thing I could bring with me was the Stella, Stella Alpina, Alpina because it was just knitting, knitting, knitting. But how do you, what do you think about these colors for? It's one? so you. Where are your colors? Show them your oh. colors. We'll talk about yours. Oh, well, and it, well, I mean, this is a color. This is Ruby and Roses. It's the color Gallant, Gallivant, which I just love that color because how would you describe that, Diana? I would say it's like a mushroom. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Kind of. Phil Bell. Do you remember that colorway mushroom? Yes. It's yes, exactly yes. what it reminds me of. I love that colorway. And it's this like colorway, a taupey, but it's got like a very. Like a pinkish cast. And this is willow, but if you go close on willow, look at the colors in it. It's beautiful. It's going to look so good. So I'm very excited. I'm going to, well, I may cast that on tonight. I thought I had to sew squares together tonight, but since I don't no. have to sew squares together, <laughs> I can see if I can do this. That's why I said to my husband, what's for dinner? Whatever you want to make is for dinner. <laughs> don't count me in that. Yeah. Um, so you I, do you, I'll do me. No. There you go. <laughs> These are my colors. Look at I went for colors. bright. Here's my reveal. Uh, this is Art Yarns, Merino Cloud, and I'm using an ombre colorway, very neon. Mm -hmm. I think this is going to be super now, fun to wear. <clears throat> the ombre colorway from Art Yarns, she'll get like a striping. Yes. Not a striping striping, I don't, like a variegation striping. It's not like a stripe, 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 is it? Uh, it's going to create a stripe. And I just realized I'm going to have to cut. Why? I know what you're going to say. We had this conversation before. I think I might need because to cut. Because of the two sides? Yeah. We talked about that, and until you said it, joins, it didn't make a difference. Until it joins in the round. But oh. you know, wait, wait, wait. I don't. Why? I stand corrected because well, that's part and is not in it. Exactly. Not that's yet. right. You don't. That's going to say. Yes. <laughs> I would. If I had to do, cut it, I wouldn't do it. But you How don't have to fun cut it. You don't have to these cut colors. It. So look at the contrast in the colors we're doing. <laughs> we will not be matching with our FOs. <laughs> that's okay. 
You know, I says, never go this says right. each his own. It takes it, you know, makes the world go round. Right? I told Pam I'm going to knit this top and I'll never wear it because it's so bright. I'll be like, <laughs> do we have a neon sign glowing in the dark? Oh, stop! But that would look nice with everything. Do we have kits for these? Yes, I believe. Do we? Actually. Did we pull them aside? No, we didn't. Um, no. We still have kits for them. Yes, they're on the website. I'll include a link. Yeah. I. We may have sold a few, but. They're definitely some I available. Even know. Well, we don't have them to show you. That's for sure. No, we didn't pull them to show, but you, we've them covered them in the, the past. Website. Listen, any fingering weight yarn you can use, and you, again, it doesn't have to be like Dinah and I have a hand dyed. You can do two. Yeah, there are some on the website. You could do two solid colors, you know, because as you saw on this picture, look how pretty that blue and white looks down there. And what I would do is go on the project pages for the pattern because I there's some great. Great examples there. Hundred you percent, know? and you'll see. So it's great want. for stash diving, especially if you have that lone skein of fingering weight. Yeah. It would be great yeah. for the striping. Yeah. Uh, if you don't have two solid colors to go with it, you can always call or email a picture. We could try to find something to work with you. And you could see from looking at the two color version here, like there's like a striping down here, then it goes all to the second color, and then it it's in there in like a little whatever. So you can see where it's placed. A little harder to see it on the this one up there. But anyway, so that's the luminous, L-U-M-I-N-O-S. I think I got a hot flash when I said I might need to cut. Oh, no, I, <laughs> I would get a hot flash, too. Oh, my goodness, that's so funny. I would get a hot flash, too. Okay, so that is my luminous tea. It's designed by um, Yamagara. You can find the pattern on Ravelry. When you join our knit along, the patterns are not included. If you purchase a kit from us, and you don't need to purchase the kit to join either, no, you, can you use don't. Whatever you join yet want. But the kits patterns are always sold separately, mm -hmm. and you you buy that on your own so that it goes into your own Ravelry account, and you have it there with you. Now, what do you want to do first? This one, sure. So start talking about it. How do you pronounce it? Albina. I think it's Albina. I okay. don't know. It's a simple classic summer sweater, knit from the bottom up in the round, and then you split for the tops and the sleeves. Uh, for the, for the you uh, split for the sleeves and worked flat. And so it's picked up right. Otherwise, oh, she wrote that. Yeah, so it's usual bottom up construction in the round. Then you split for the tops and you have the sleeves in the round. But it's like a fun oversized. Shirt. Super cute. And who's the designer? We didn't it's designed by Caitlin Hunter, also known as Boyland Networks. Uh, we made some kits for it. We went live on Instagram. And if you don't know what that is, you can follow us. Um, Instagram is on your phone. It's an app. And sometimes Pam and I will go live and we'll show the kits. Sometimes we show things first here on the podcast, and other times we show it on Instagram. So, I don't think we introduced ourselves. No, oh, I'm Pam Sapp on Instagram and Ravelry, <laughs> and Pam Sapp begins on Facebook. This is why I just made that reference. There you, go. <laughs> you can find me at The Knitting Place on Instagram, Ravelry, and Facebook. And, yes, that's how you would know that. Okay, so these are some of the kits that we came up with. This is like a powder pink. And we used Lena. This is Lena Santa Scarn, and we paired it with Dark Slate. It's a pretty combination. So basically what you'll see is this thin pinstripe and the main color. Love that kit. This here is the Sandstone, great colorway. And we happen to also pair this one with the Dark Slate. This is just a little deeper, another neutral. This is gorgeous. The stripes don't scream. It's lilac and the pearl gray. I'll let Pam show the rest. Oh, this one is, I don't know what color that is. Is that a gray? It's like a very yep. light pearl gray, and we've done it two ways. We've done it with the raspberry cream, which is a lovely color. That's my anchor shirt. And we also then did it oh, with the, that. what's that color called? Spicy orange. Spicy orange which we love as well. So I can easily see, can you see this striped shirt with that those spicy orange stripes or the raspberry cream? Love, love that. It. Love both of them. And then we did, this is like a flower. What do you call this pink? Peach? 
I think that's Rose the peach gold. flower. Peach flower. I think you're right. Peach flower. Peach flower with this beautiful green striping. I think that's pretty. And then the last one, we did that that uh, deep like Is that. What? Is that a kit? Yeah, it's okay. on the table. Charcoal oh. gray. Sorry. We did the inverse with a light stripe. So you can Love have that. a dark with a light stripe. You can have a light with a dark. That's like a taupe, though. That's not the pearl gray. It's not the right one. No, that's not pearl gray. That's a different color. Is that, I thought we did this way. Like that's this. a kit, but it's not this color. Oh, it's not the per Yeah, no. Right, right, right. I you see what you're the, saying. You yeah. can see the difference. Yeah. Matter of fact, Dinah did. You did a shirt with that, right? Your um, you river had top. The river top. Yeah. And what Dinah did is she did. Top. This is the main color, and that's not. That's a great top. Love. Love that top. That is a great river top. Look it up. It's a. I Santa's think because top. it's striped, I might right. not do this one. I'm not rushing to do this top, right. although I like it because right. it's like a fun. I think I'm gonna call it like a sloppy training. shirt that you can kind of do like a little French tuck and right. but I think we need cool some summer, summer night stuff. I mean, we, don't, we, we haven't gotten enough of our summer knitting done, so I think that that's what we need to do. I have to say, what? did you watch the Knitting Posse? No. They put out a podcast I and did not. their most recent one. They haven't been on in a while, and it came up and I ca caught it. Mm -hmm. First of all, thank you, Kate. She promoted the Betty Cowell. Oh, did you? Yes. Oh, but Kate, I don't know how you don't have any knitting mojo because there are so many amazing tops out there. Is that what she said? She yes. Really? She does, nothing is like sparking really? her interest to knit. And really? I feel like there isn't enough out there. I, I mean, there isn't enough time. I need to sprout more Diana, hands. Diana and I are having the opposite I ha this year. We're finding Opposite. Too much to yes. Knit. Totally. So too much to knit. If you need some knitting inspo. Yeah. Call us. Yeah. <laughs> we'll hook you up. Thank you. I know. We need, we need a couple more pairs. <laughs> Maybe I'll send you something to knit for me because, <laughs> boy, you knit fast. Who's that? Kate. She's okay. always knitting something and she gets so much knitting done. Well, she probably, and, I'm sure she has this. She really said that there's nothing that she's doing. Yes, I was by. shocked. Well, maybe yes. she's looking for different stuff, though. She might be looking for something different. I don't know. I don't know. Are you a, a summer sweater knitter? Because there's so many good summer tops right now. Let's do this one next. Speaking of, this is another one. This is called what's Blank it? Canvas Tea. Thank you. Blank Canvas Tea. Who doesn't love that? Love, love, love. That's by the same designer as your Stella Alpina. Which is called Mini M Mini Me Knit Mini Design. Mini Me Knit Designs. And I just love this. Um, I also like her necklace. I know. Lie. She's got some. If you go look at the Very She's got cool. a couple of really nice chunky necklaces. Super on. I just want to bring the pattern it's up. It's cute. It's, even, it's layered over a halter top dress. Do you see that? It's very pretty. Look at the detail by it's the neck. It's got a positive ease. Um, and I believe, isn't she the one that had three different positive eases? Yes. She actually, <laughs> I think she showed it with. Her? I think it was this one. So she recommended it. it. Yeah, I think it was her. Was it her? No, name? it was Amber. It was that one. Forget that. Forget we said that. Sorry. So we kitted this two different ways for you. One way is we used a DK weight yarn with a tweed. That's a <clears throat> an unsuper, uh, that's a super wash, excuse me. And we'll show you. We'll show you the two. Yeah. So we did seventh floor yarns, tweed DK, <clears throat> which is true to gauge. Uh, it's a... Superwash yarn, hand dyed. Would you say it's got more of um, a transitional vibe? The tweed DK. Yes, I think we went for the tweed because it it kind of emulates the the texture and the vibe that's going on here. Yeah. So which is why we were drawn to that. Right. So you can show them. This colorway here, this initial one, is called Pebbles. That's kind of a great color. Like yeah, That's a great very color like way. basic, neutral. Yep. You'll see the natural, and it's got the brown and the black tweed running through it. The next one we did was the um, wow, wowie. Yes, a nice pink, beautiful shade of that? pink. It's very pretty. Go ahead. Now this is the yarn that we used in the gambit. Yeah, I love that's another great. It's sweater. a great cardigan. If you want fabulous another. yarn, mm -hmm. uh, which is the same identical yarn. We love this yarn. It's the tweed DK, and this colorway is called Sage. Now, if you notice, all the neps that are on the tweed, they're yeah. all the same color. It's the brown, the ivory, and the black, yeah. and it's constant in all the colorways. There you go. This colorway is ash. That's another great colorway for it. Here, Dinah. 
you do it. This is Double Trouble. It's a deep navy. And I'll hold that so we can show it next to the onyx. Right. And this is the onyx. It's a I mean, very dark navy. So you see the difference wow. between the two. Yep. So we thought that that would be a nice choice. But of course, it's not the only choice you have. Because why would... I'll put it here. Why would we... Why would we do that, right? So now we're going to show you our second option for that sweater. I moved it. Oh, you did? <laughs> oh, I she's getting you. so creative. So what do you guys think of this new layout here? Yeah, we moved the ladies. I feel like there are books up on the shelf there, like library books. Well, there are magazines and stuff for sure. Yeah, I was looking at those, the bags. Oh, the bags. These are all the Say It Project bags, and there's quite a few. So if you didn't snag one, you certainly can. Uh, we have some Quaigu pencil boxes. These are kits here for the Appalachian Baby Company. Very cute little garments and I think blanket, garment, maybe a hat. Uh, right in here we have wrist rulers. If those of you who don't know what those are, they're wrist rulers. And I think, who mm. was it? There's another the leather double strap rulers very cute okay. you'll see some books and lane books. magazine all the way over on that side candles there's I candles like there's mugs there's a little notion a little dish notion dish what your jewelry on there too actually way up in the corner is a blocking kit from yeah, coco nets lots of fun stuff mm -hmm. very nice this mannequin she's wearing the Dune Drifter. It's designed by Woolen Pines. Pines. That's what we were talking about last week. There's a there's a, a, a Dune Drifter shawl now that just came out. So it's got this, it's got the stockinette, but it's got that great um, sh horizontal pattern in it, lace pattern. And then this, do you know what this is called? That's designed by Dan Doe, mm -hmm. D-A-N. I knew you were going to ask, and I, I tried we to. Use, we use Lena. Lena. We use Lena for it from um, Lang. Yeah, I believe, which is a linen yarn. That's what we used on that one. And where is it? The name of that pattern is it's a fabulous designer. Yeah. D A N D O H. It's called Lily. L I L Y. L I L Y. Here it is. Beautiful pattern. Super cute. Very nice. Love it. So those are the garments that are on the mannequin. We always get a lot of questions about what's on the mannequin. I feel like we're missing one right there. But you see the knitting place tote bag. It's okay. <laughs> this is, again, we're talking about the blank. What can I? Canvas take. I can't I'm block with that word. Anyway, so what we did is we pulled our favorite yarn, <laughs> which is a non-superwash uh, Rowan Felted Tweed. And we thought that this would also be a great yarn for it. And this is colorway clay. Clay. That is clay. Is that the color that you used? No, I used scree. It looks like scree to me. It looks like this. It looks the same it's to really me. More but... like cement. And this is fjord. Do you like the way I remembered that name? I do. <laughs> I'm impressed. This is Pam's colorway, which I can't tell you the name of. Sulfur. Sulfur. Thank you. This I know. This is peach. Am I right? Yes. This is peach. Pretty. So this, good, Pam. I'm, 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 this is a memory. Celadon. Yep. I would make it in this color. Gorgeous. Love that color. That's so you. Love this. Yep. I am doing my garden in this color. This is the cumin colorway. Right. This has a name, Treacle. Yeah. T-R-E-A-C-L-E. I don't know what that means, but I love. It's a great shade of brown. That color. Love. This was lime. Look at that. I remember. She's lime. got all the colors. <laughs> <laughs> lime. And, and I love it. Because I never know the color names. That's lime, which is you can see the difference between the two greens. Yeah. Right? And I think that's we it. We have right? other colors. Yeah, we just picked these because we right. thought they would look well. And um, I would love it in that, in that green color. That is just gorgeous. Oh, so love you. It. It is me. So, go ahead. I was going to just say, the difference between the Rowan Felted Tweed, a lot of people get, uh, I want to say, they question Felted Tweed. They hear that it's a non-super oh, yeah. wash, yeah. and there's, uh, you know, some fibers that kind of halo. Right. If you get close to it, you can kind of see the fibers that are 
giving you a little bit of a halo. I don't find the yarn to be itchy. Some no, people exactly. often ask, what does it feel like? The more I knit with it, I feel like the more I love it. Uh, and one of the attributes that I really do love most is that when you knit this yarn to a DK weight as opposed to something that might be a Madeline Tosh, any of the superwash yarns, you're going to get more weight to those yarns. This is going to feel very light and airy, mm -hmm. which is why uh, I think it'll be so good for this top. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Right? I think so. I agree. Love it. Love it, love it, love 100%. it. 100%. Okay. So that's our spiel on that. Our next top. <laughs> Again, it's like, how many, how many things can we knit? This is lovely. The bomb. This is from... Do you um, guys recognize the stitch? <laughs> it's like the garden you cardigan. You might recognize it from the garden So anyone cardigan. who has knit the garden cardigan, this is like a breeze for you because you know knit the stitch. Knit this with your eyes closed. Except knit it with your eyes closed. there is Love a that. detail yeah. here. You can't Look see at that. it that well over there. I'm going to go close. Bring Sorry. It on my phone. It's, it's called the Sila... What's it called? C-I-L-L-A top. Seal of Sun. Seal of Sun, excuse me. Why am I saying top? Well, it could be. I love this. So Seal I really sun. love the detail here. I almost feel like if you were wearing a racer back, you'd get that seam and with no sleeves. What Anne has done is she's created this angle right in here, which is really very flattering, especially if you've got girls like me. <laughs> um, and then you pick up, and I imagine... You pick up and you work back. I'm going to show you a close-up. I know it's white on white, but you see Stunning. that? Stunning. That's Stunning what Diane is talking about. I love it. It's very flattering. Mm -hmm. And so we I could not resist it. I know. We're going to have to kiss this one on my time. I need this. So um, we thought the a great yarn for this, again, you know, is the Lena. I hate to say it, but... <clears throat> Excuse me, it is... Um, Give me one second. I, you know, I'm wondering, we weren't telling them sizes, but it's all on the uh, thing. This is um, a 20-stitch gauge, which is why the Lena is perfect. <coughs> what size did we get this up to? I'm getting distracted. Do you have knit night or something? No. All those women out there? They're just hanging out. Oh. Uh, we sized this up to... It has six skeins. I think it was size three. Was that the 45? Yeah, it was almost 45-inch finish bust. This is the one. She has three versions. And just so that you know, I version... don't know if it's so much versions, but she. I think she was showing it being worn with different positive uses. Right. But, yeah, but she, she allocated the yarn by version. Oh, I see. Okay. Which is true. The first version, which is how we kit it, kitted it has about five inches of positive ease um, and the other ones are larger so you'll see on the larger meaning more bit. positive ease right 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 so if you want to make a size that requires more yarn just leave a comment right. and we will tell you the colors in which we can accommodate you on that correct and we went through like you said I think it's the first three sizes yep. Which would take them through what? Where are the sizes? I'll find it. In a one forty-five second. inch finish bust. Forty-five inch finish Just finished. about. Okay. There you go. This is dark periwinkle, a very pretty color. This is a beautiful. I think they call this pistachio. Correct. Good. I need to know what this is. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Is that the? Um, I don't recall. No, oh, it's a blue. <laughs> So like blue. It's like a gray blue. You might say gray blue, but it's definitely Did blue. Did I put this colorway on the website? I, I, yeah, you have it here. Okay. It's not looking familiar to you, is it? No. Whoops. Um, I'll tell you, this is 1015. This is colorway kit, kit. which mm -hmm. is lovely, a nice basic. This kind of mimics the colorway that, well, she yes, may have white. Yeah, off cream. white. Mm -hmm. This is a beautiful pink. I'm not sure what the name of this pink is. Blossom. Blossom. There you go. But that's not all. You might think But that's, wait, there's more. But wait, there's more, of course. Uh, let's see. You know, Pam? It's not there. 
Well, good thing this isn't live. You can add it. It's not there. Are the other colors there? Yeah. Okay. But I don't know. Did you actually? We'll, we'll have to look. Hmm. This is another pretty green. Do you know what this one's called? A celery. A celery. White. White. That classic one, yeah. white. This is the is the new lilac. Lilac colorway. It's like a pinky lavender. And this is another pretty green. I think this is the green of my, my sweater from... Um, That's the dusty light green. Yeah. I can't remember from who. But anyway, there you go. And then there is... Oh, we more. have more colors. We've got the pretty pink. We've got the orange. There's some fun colors. And we've got this one. So if you like color, there's the shocking pink. This is my chevron vest. Yeah, that's right. That looks like my um, Joni top. It does look like yes, a Joni top. Yes, that's the one. orange. And this is like a burnt sugar. Sandstone, it's Sandstone. called. Sandstone, there you go. And those are the colors. Again, it's not every color we have, but if you feel inclined, you it's can buy it. It's a fair representation right. of what's available I believe right the kit for this is six skeins. And that, as we said, that would take you through the 45, the third size. And if you want a larger, you can just add, you know, now again... You did take that color. I did take that color. Yeah, how did I miss it? Okay. Sorry, I'll include it. It'll be available. Um, I was going to say, when we were allocating the yarn, it had the same yarn for that size plus the two larger sizes, which took you to like a 54. And that's probably because they were using a larger skein of yarn. So we looked at the projects, yes. and we feel comfortable that this will take you through the 45. If you want something larger, I would add you know, accordingly. The Add another need. skein. Right, or that two. you need for it. Not a big deal. And that is the Sela, if we're saying it right, Sun. Sela Sun, designed by Ann Vansell. Correct. And those are the tops that we happen to love at this moment. Exactly. Right? That we've been looking at, and um, we finally said, you know what, we're going to do it. Right? Yes. And there you go. Oh, you want to show them this, right? Don, Dinah has some accoutrement that came in. Tell them about that, Dinah. These are little stitch markers with our house logo. What does it say on them? They're designed by Katrinkles, and you can see one marker will say, make one left, make one right. Knit There's two together. Knit two together. Um, what else do I have? I think SSK. I like them. I like the um, yarn over. I like the um, light bulb. Um, the colors are fun. <coughs> it's like the light neon acrylic, like the neon acrylic. Very pretty. Yeah. So that's a fun add-on for the shop. And the other thing that came in is this great gauge ruler. I think um, I'm into chrome lately. <laughs> yeah, it's like the nails. It's like the chrome. So as you can see, you have the holes for the needles to gauge the needles, and you've got this nice little four-inch great gauge to or set we use to measure centimeters or um, inches. Inches for gauge. Look at the bling. You take this out of your bag and to to measure your stitches, right? Yes, Lovely. it's great. Love these. Okay, so there's that, and um, that's that's right now what we have that's new. Did you tell them a Kwaigu box? The pencil box. Is that new? Yep. Is it other colorways? Nope. Just that That's color the one. Barbie. We have others. That's oh, the that's Barbie. What's that saying? We have others. We have a few others you can see online. Okay. Uh, and what I did, do tell, it, tell it about it. Tell, tell them about it, though, Diane. It's a pencil box. It's got mini skeins in there. There's, I think, 10 of them. Yes. How many Each yards one each has. Mini I want to say, is it 125? 87 yards. Oh, 87 yards, excuse me. 87 that's nice. yards. That's about what minis yeah. have, a generous mini. And Quaigu, I don't know, Dinah, what's the history of Quaigu? Talk to them about Quaigu for like a minute, for 60 seconds, about what Quaigu is. Do you know what this retails for? Do you know? No. No. I have to look it up online. Anyway. Quaigu is... She is my OG, and for those of she you was who your first hand dyer, original hand dyer, yeah. gangster yeah. hand dyer, Tayu owns the company in Canada, based in Canada. She's based in Canada. She does a lovely job with hand dyeing. I love her yarn. 
when I used to get her yarn back in the day when we first opened, <laughs> wow. it was like waiting for gold. It would to be fall we, they would the be truck. chasing the UPS man to find out when he was. Remember, we remember Margie. We would call her and say the UPS man's coming this afternoon. She kept. I miss I know. I know. But colors are fabulous. Margie would love this colorway too. It's so Marjorie. It's Marjorie, not Margie. Marjorie. Yeah, Marjorie. Um, she does great fades. I don't know if anyone's knit with Quaigu. It's fingering weight, but it's got the what do you call it? The S twist. Yes. And it it it's uh, it's a it's a robust fingering, wouldn't you say? Yes, it plumps up beautifully. Yeah. I actually got more. You have Quaigu. to make something. You did? Did you buy big skeins? I did. Oh, lovely. Um, <coughs> the big skeins. So the, I have a baby really blanket. Big what was no. the yardage in this? One seventy-five. Yeah. Is it still the same? It's a way? fingering weight, yeah. one seventy-five. Yeah. And the reason I bought it is because we get a lot of requests. We have a shop sample. Mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting to cover this today, but uh, we have a Quaigu baby well, we blanket. We have a lot. We have a lot of things in the store that would a lot. Or shade with Quaigu. I have been obsessed with Chevron <coughs> from like. What, since I yeah. opened the shop, yeah. my Missoni ass cat. I you have the little a Chevron Michelle. shawl with this. It'd be stunning. There's some great patterns that 87, you can find. 870 yards in total. Oh, and it, there's a there's a a thing here. What do you call those things? What do you call those things? Not a barcode. <laughs> so uh, you, know, you put your camera on it. You take a picture. <laughs> QR of it. code. A QR. Uh, <laughs> it's not a QR. I can't think what it's called. <laughs> a scan. A, sc a QR code. Is that what it is? Yeah. And um, you'll get a free pattern. Yes. I don't know what it is. A bonus pattern. Bonus pattern. So it comes with something. This is called Bobby World. Dinah said they're on the website. And if I recall correctly. I don't know if that colorway is on the website yet. I don't well, think I added it. call up or whatever. Yes. Um, we'll get it on, though. The thing is that um, I know they used to retail for maybe 80 in that area, 75 or that. 80. So it's in that ballpark. I'm yeah, sure it's a little more expensive hasn't changed, than it was. Really. But um, you'll love Quaigu. Next yeah, time. And there's so much, you know, excuse me for interrupting, but there's so much nowadays with the, with the advent of advents, <laughs> right? And sometimes you want to just collect skeins to right. like, Edge something. Well, that was the need... thing with Quaigu. That yes, was the thing with Quaigu. Everyone had their favorite color, so when a shipment would come in, people would just buy it. They didn't know what they were making with it. But we had some great we crochet did mitered shawls. squares. The oh shawl my God, the big we fat did. lace chain yeah. scarf. Yeah. We did. I had designed mm -hmm. a few cowls. You Correct. can find them on Ravelry. Crocheted cowls. Crocheted right. cowls. Right. I love. Quaigu. Yeah, and it's, Quaigu it was, was really great. fun to stop. Remember the other one we did out of Quaigu, the alligator scarf? That's a great, the alligator wrap. That the was alligator a great wrap. One. Do we still have that here? I don't know. That was a great, that's an old I made that. Goodie. I made that and I gave it away. We all, I mean, everyone made that. I it was a fun one. pattern stitch, uh, the linen stitch scarf. The linen stitch scarf. Forget that about was it. another good one. What yeah. about my crocheted entrelac scarf? My yes, design on memory. Yes, yes, yes. Guys. Yep. yep. There's so much that you can, plus it's just a fingering weight yarn. You can yeah. take an advent pattern that you like. <coughs> but the beauty and with Quaigu is they're 50 gram skeins for fingering as opposed to the 100 grams. For the big balls, for the big skeins, yeah. Yeah, yeah so it's we'll nice because you're not looking at it. But it's funny, everything goes around. We used to say, oh, we wish the skeins were bigger, right? Remember we used right. to say that? Now it's like we're glad they're not that big because there are many times right. when you want to knit. So you buy two yeah. if you need it, right? It's the same thing. We've done a lot of baby blankets, and it seems like there's a big baby trend. So I Do you ordered, think so? Yeah. So Did I ordered, you only get baby colors? No. Oh, good. No. I can say, don't disappoint me and tell no. me you only got baby girls. No, I did not. I got fun <laughs> colors. I think we have to knit something or crochet so, something with Quaker. Thank you, Tayu. Uh, love the colors that came in. And what in, are these called we'll again? Into, that's the pencil box. Pencil box. Yeah. Pencil box. There yes. you go. I do have an announcement to make. This is the first week with the new summer hours. Summer hours are Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 1230 to 330. So the difference being is that she shifted Friday. She's got the longer Wednesday. weekend, right? Right. We're not cutting hours. I just r changed my days. Mm -hmm. And I do have to say that I'm closing for vacation. There you go. Uh, Thursday is my last day that I will be open this week. And then I come back on July 
9th is when I will reopen. This is an unusual break. I'm taking two weeks off, which I don't normally do. One so time. I just mm -hmm. want to let everyone know, get your order in, get your yarn um, requests in. If you're not in a rush, we'll ship it when we get back. I believe Pam said she might come in a day or two. I can do that. Uh, to, to fill in orders. Mm -hmm. And you can certainly be in touch. I'm not going to be off uh, my radar. How do you say that? Off the... You are going to be off the radar. No, You're not I'll be, be reachable. The, yeah. Yeah. Well, in today's um, world, you know, really. Yeah. I'm going to try not to. You don't want to be on your phone all the time. Definitely not. But once a day, I mean, you can check so, in and see. Yeah. That's or what you say. Every couple. Right. right. I might not answer emails on a daily basis no. where I well, do you, now. Well, that you shouldn't be. You know, right. That you shouldn't I wanna, be doing. You I want to. I do. It's that. funny. Do you know that there was. Did anyone read the New York Times today? There was an no. article about. Taking off and how stressful it is when you're taking off a vacation and how stress, like the stress when you're on vacation thinking about coming back. Right. Well, that's the unfortunately the nature of the society we live in today. So I don't think you should be looking at all that stuff, you know. And people should. I, I hate well, to say it, I'm going to say something, but they res res respect the fact that you're on vacation. That question doesn't need to be answered. At that moment, right. and she should be, of course, taking my messages because <laughs> it might be important. important. <laughs> it might be very important. I love that, Pam. You're but, so uh, funny. But again, you know, but you know what I'm saying. You know, you don't. You, of course, you know when you're on vacation. That's when you have time to look and say, "Oh, what's on Ravel me Ravelry? Maybe I want to look something up. You know, maybe I want to see something. You know what I mean? Because you never have time for that, right? Yeah, but I'm. But when you're not away, to do that, right? But when you're away, you don't you don't need to be answering DMs or emails. No, I and mean if heart, it's a vendor like that you're waiting for information from a vendor right, about a that shipment, may, that's a different story. Yeah. In my heart of hearts, you know, I always feel bad when you guys ask me questions. I want to answer right away, because I know if I was in your shoes, I would want to know the answer immediately. So I. But can that's the problem knitting. with the society today. Yes, the immediate right. gratification it has to be like of, this. Yes, which know. we spoke about last week. And we're more like, I want to say dinosaurs, but I think kids nowadays are worse. They really, they really yeah, big because well, that's whole, the way we they're would, raised. You yeah. know, with everything is right away, right away. But of course, you will pick up my text, won't you? Of course. There you go. And. Yeah, like I said, I will be reachable. And I think it's also a very high vacation time. I'm sure a lot of people are also going we, away as well. We usually do go, right, we're July always closed, that, yeah, yeah, 4th of July. But um, mm -hmm. it was interesting that that article came out today. So you saw, you saw. I saw it. So, you know, I'm letting everyone know in advance. I kind of hate to do that because it creates a stir or worry. But I'm letting you know that we're closing for uh, two weeks. I'm also delegating, which was one of the things that they said you should try to do, which is why I asked Pam if she can come <laughs> in for a day or two to ship some um, packages. Yep. And the other interesting thing was yes, not to, like, work until the last day. You know how I always pack and, like, the day that I'm leaving? Yeah, you always do that, yeah. So to, I'm going to be cognizant of, like, trying to plan ahead of time. Like, I'm already thinking in my mind what I'm packing. I'm going yeah, to try to get not, my... You're, you're a very... You're, Dinah's a good packer. I am not a good packer. She she can pack in... Uh, she can wait. She's got to leave for the airport at 4. She can pack at 3 and be ready by 4. Yeah. I I'm not doing do that, that, though. It's I stressful. Do that. So Did this you find is, that stressful? You do it well. Of course. It doesn't seem like but, a stress. So th these are the things that we're talking about, like the high anxiety <laughs> building. So... That's one of the things that I'm going to work on this week, like get my toiletries in early. Yeah, get everything done. Yes. Yeah, exactly. And the other thing is that they say or suggest is to come home yeah. with a buffer, like a day or two early well, they, before you. I could see you. that. I could see that, yeah. But, you know, of course, when you're on vacation, you want to max your well, time off. It depends. Yeah, it depends. It depends. You know, like you said, if you're only, if you're only going for somewhere for five days, you don't want to, you know, it depends what it is. Yeah. So. You it's gotta funny do. how I'm lamenting about this, and then they publish an article. It's like perfect. <laughs> Just what you needed to read, right? Well, I mean, it's helpful, helpful tip. So what do you guys do if you're going on vacation and you're stressing out about work? Packing has to be, the, well, to me, packing has to be the worst. 
I'm worried about that. You know, you work hard before going away because you want to mm-hmm. get everyone's projects finished. Right. Then you come back and everybody has a ton of projects right. that need to be finished. But you know, the bottom line is it's going to be the same either way. It doesn't make a difference. Right. It's going to be the same either way. Right. So, so not to make yourself crazy. Right. You know, it's only, as they say, it's only knitting. Right. And PSO, public service announcement. Yep. PSA, excuse me. PSA. Is there I one? don't take finishing on vacation. <laughs> oh, you don't? No, I love you, you don't. my why customers. I love that, you all who bring in <laughs> finishing. But the best question when I get back from vacation, did you get my finishing done? Yeah, unless she took it with her, it wasn't getting done. It's no, it's not coming with me. I wouldn't I risk that, taking right. anyone's knitting. Well, on that a well, trip. Not That's only that, why would you do someone's one, knitting and on I'm your not vacation? Work on vacation, exactly. <laughs> anyway, that's always funny. Yeah, but so that's the story. So now you have the low down, and um, that's it. I will try to send an email as well. I haven't done an email in a long time. No, yeah, don't worry. That's about another it. You thing. Do it, you can do it. Don't worry about it. You got yep. so much. You got you got a couple of days left. I wouldn't even worry about that. Just get yourself ready. Get yourself packed. Get you know, the most important thing is getting your projects ready. That's what you have to do. You have to. Pack, I'm not taking pack so your projects. That's another thing that I'm lament, like. I have angst. You can't over. take everything. Definitely no, not. You can't because you're not going to pack no. all that stuff. I have my test knit, which I think I'm going to take. You should take your test. I'm knit. hoping to take this because I feel like in warm weather climate, if I finish it and you wear it, wear that it. would be fine. And that would be an easy thing to finish. Like in other words, it's not something crazy. No. Pattern wise and right. stuff. And that'll be fine. I just would take a plow. My garden, my self, all those wintry no, things are not that. taking. Jethro, those are all going to. You're going to take your luminous. Luminous, I might take. That's a happy fun knit. And that's it. I think you should take this and cast it on. I know. So that's the <laughs> other thing. My tradition is I have to save something. I need a new cast on. I need a new project. <laughs> this when might I say be this, it. it's the Sila Sun is yes. what we're talking about. I'm in love with this top. Which colorway are you going to do? I don't know. Mm. Help me pick a color. Oh, I don't know. I think you should do it honestly. I think you should do it. In, uh, uh, don't forget what I say. What? I was going to say like this, but you were just doing that. So I you, have that you already. You want to do that. Maybe you should do it in that. In the white? Mm-hmm. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know, Dan. I don't Help know me to pick a you. color. We showed them all. I'm really at a loss now. Maybe, maybe I've the, knit a top in this you color. You can't do that color. I've knit a top in this yeah, color. You can't do that. You're I doing have, something now exactly. in, the, in the cream. Right. You haven't done the green, but I don't see you in the green. But I'm wearing green. <laughs> no, that's it's different a different green. shade of green. You could do that. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't see in that. You could do a pink. Nope, I don't see in that. I don't, you may have to go into the stashed. Nope, nope. nope. How nope. about this? I like that one. But this maybe the. I was thinking of the gray. Salty. Where's the gray? It's in the other top. Oh, I didn't I'm show doing you that gray. color. I don't think I showed that color one. Which one? This one. Oh. <laughs> doesn't do anything for you no oh i that's well, a lost sign i don't know what you're gonna do i'll find something don't you worry let's see what she finds she'll have it half done when she comes back no <laughs> anyhow it's time to it's go it is late it is late dinah wow it's 8 15 uh. i'm talking for more than a minute thank you all uh you can Subscribe to our channel. Uh, it's the Knitting Place podcast. You can hit subscribe. Well, You'll get notified. Please hit subscribe. Yes. That would be nice. If you enjoyed the podcast, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, we understand that we love to chat, chit chat with you. We so. talk too much. Um, someone had asked <laughs> no, if no. the art yarns uh, was superwash. Oh, so the art yarns is non superwash. Non superwash. Okay. This is merino cloud. It's got. Eighty percent extra fine merino and twenty percent cashmere. There's four hundred and thirty-seven yards per skein. It's available yarn. in an mm. ombre. Love that yarn. Tonal. She does solids. She could do a speckle. Uh, if there's a colorway that you fancy and you find that I'm out of stock, please don't hesitate to email me or reach out. But not okay. while she's on vacation. <laughs> you can email me requests. She'll look at it I later. Will, yeah. At a later date. I will get them in hopefully when I get back. And we, if you're joining us for our I Neela tomorrow or for our, what's tomorrow? Luminous tomorrow. We will see you then or we'll see you maybe for the Jethro on right. Thursday. 
Yes. Otherwise, we'll see you after vacation. Have a happy fourth. We'll miss you. Yes, yes, yes. We'll see you soon, though. And keep on knitting or crocheting. Bye. Bye. Thank you.